There's a new breed of treasure hunters, and they're looking for precious metals. And you won't believe where they find them. If this thing blows up in my face, holy, I'm out $1,000. A vault. I have got to get into this thing. I can't stop myself. If I know that there's a deal out there to be made, I'm going to take advantage of it. We did good. Once they find the metal, they melt it. Platinum meltdown, baby. To make big, big money. Big paydays here. At this point, my questions of not having rocket parts here have been answered. There's a giant rocket right in the driveway. This is a car I'm building right here. No, 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 no. I'm from Detroit. Yeah. I know what a car looks like. Yeah. This is not a car. Well, it's a different type of car. You know, it's a car designed for ultimate speed. It's got a rocket engine in the back. It's designed just to set speed records. Well, show me what you got. Basically, it's just a big needle. I guess you can see that. So what kind of speed do you think that this is going to go, then? Oh, this is designed to hit 2,000 miles. It'll burn out 2,000 2, miles, miles an hour? Exactly. How much does it cost? It's going to cost a fortune. I'm looking at $1.75 million. Every dime I make goes into this thing. Waldo needs money. So if I can throw him some money in his pocket today, I can walk away with rocket parts. So this umbrella-looking thing here, this is the part that would contain some type of a, maybe a precious metal? Oh, I'm sure. It's probably brazed with gold, platinum, silver. This okay. engine in 1950 cost $9 million. If you were to sell this, how much would you sell this for? This motor is absolutely priceless. Uh, see, the thing is, without this motor, I don't have a car. So what do you have that is for sale? Well, I'll tell you, I've got a lot of stuff I've stashed through the years. If there's anything you're interested in, bring it back. We'll parlay, OK? Deal. This is the coolest stuff anybody that's into rockets could possibly have. Who's got racks and racks of rocket parts in their house? Now we're talking. <clears throat> this is where all the metals are going to be held. This is just a scaled down version of the one that Waldo showed me outside on his rocket, and it's heavy as hell. All right, uh, where's Waldo? I would probably, you know, take 1500 for it. That's a bit more than I was thinking. I mean, I could offer you, like, probably about 500 bucks for it. Oh, yeah, right here. Listen, you need to make some money to be able to finance your rocket here, right? Your car, yeah. your rocket car. I don't see anybody lining up in the driveway to buy your stuff, so here I am. How about 850 bucks? Yeah, I'm thinking more like about 1,000 bucks. One large would be fair for this. I'm willing to take a gamble in buying this thing just because of the sheer weight of it. This is what I can do. I'm, I'm willing to pay you a thousand bucks. Okay. Okay. Not but working. you got to help me get the parts out of the inside of this thing. I take it. We'll just do it. We'll do that. We're on. Deal. I've got a ton of boxes and a ton of people going through all of them, and nobody's finding anything. I think that's aluminum. But yeah. thanks for getting my hopes up. I think this is silver. Oh yeah. Let me see. That could be. I'll take a look. We need to find about 500 more of these. <laughs> Oi, Gun. Riz, we got something. What is it? That looks like ashes or something. Be careful. To me, it looks like. I wouldn't, I wouldn't you know, mess with it. Just my luck that when I find something in this mess that might be silver, there's a dead body in it. You know what this is? What it is? This is the ashes from somebody's dog. Oh, 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 gag. I thought it was human ashes. I think this is silver, though. Look at there, see? It's still there. You can see it down through there. All right. <laughs> this urn is made out of silver. This dog urn has some real weight to it. After dropping 1500 bucks and spending $200 on dinner for 12, it could be a real gift from beyond. Sit. Good boy. Yeah. What's going on, Rich? He Hi. said you told him that you were going to hire him for security. When do you want me to start? Tell the truth, I don't even remember ever talking to you before. What are you talking about, bro? We used to chill all the time, man. Hey, don't really have a clue what you're talking about. I'm saying, but you said come in here to fill out the application, and you was going to give me a job, man. Now you're starting to piss me I'm off. Saying, this what is bull Man, you're supposed to get me in here. You talking Why am about? I supposed to get you in here? I don't even know who the hell you are. Rich, what are you talking about, man? You know what? And you said that I was going to hire you today. Yes, bro. OK, just... well, then let's make this real quick and simple. You're fired. <laughs> you going to do me like that, bro? Just like that. Why the f you 
you gonna tell me to waste like my time? That. I wasted my time coming up here. You know what? You're wasting my time making up these stories. Let me show you how security really works. Why would you leave somebody out of here? That's security, guys. Nice working with you. Talk about that outside, man. Don't don't touch. You're fired. That was actually great. That was good, Dredge. I think this guy broke a record for being here the shortest period of time out of any employee. Hey, what's up, bud? I'm looking to pawn these uh, microphones I picked up from a uh, concert last night. Uh, let me see. That's nice. They just threw them out in the crowd, and I picked them up. So they threw these things out into the crowd, and you just happened to catch one? So at what point did they actually take this off of the, the rack and put it nicely inside of this thing? No, I got Zip them. Zip it up and then threw it out there. When did that happen? It just got out in the crowd and I picked them up. Really? Really? Hold on. Hi, how are you? I'm from American Jewelry. I have a gentleman down here who is trying to sell me some microphones. Are you missing some? Exactly, I've got them. You're gonna need to come down here. All right, thanks. Ash, call the cops. How much were you looking for? 100 bucks a piece, if possible. How about 75 a piece? That works. You got your ID with you? Uh, no, I'm gonna have to have somebody to pawn them for me. I ain't got my ID. I lost it with my wallet at the show. What's this sound like? Move that away from my face a little bit, okay? <laughs> hey, Mike, what's going on? I'm so glad the club manager's finally here so we can figure out what's going on. Last night, somebody slid in under a cage that we had and um, lifted two of these mics. That's it. So we're waiting for the police to come. Okay. Uh, they're leaving. No, man, you can't leave. The cops told us to hold you here. Cops are coming.